खत्म हुई प्रतीक्षा खत्म हुई इंतजार एक छोटे से अंतराल के बाद हम हाजिर हैं कम्युनिशी नान के साथ मैं हूं विकास नांगिया मार्च विमेंस हिस्ट्री मंथ के रूप में मनाया जाता है इसी महीने इंटरनेशनल विमेंस डे भी मनाया जाता है यूनाइटेड नेशंस विमेन विभाग पिछले 60 वर्षों से लगातार विमेन एम्पावरमेंट की ओर समाज को जागरूक करने के उद्देश्य से विशेष कार्यक्रम आयोजित करता है इसी कड़ी में बीते सप्ताह संत निरंकारी मिशन ने यूनाइटेड नेशंस में इंटरफेथ रोल इन विमेन एम्पावरमेंट पैनल डिस्कशन का आयोजन किया 14 मार्च से 24 मार्च के दरमियान यूनाइटेड नेशंस में कमीशन ऑन द स्टेटस ऑफ विमेन सी एस डब्ल्यू सिक्सटी ने विमेन्स एम्पावरमेंट सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट जैसे विषयों पर विभिन्न पैनल डिस्कशन का आयोजन किया इनमें से एक संत निरंकारी मिशन संस्था के साथ मिलकर आयोजित किया गया जिसमें इंटरफेथ विमेन एम्पावरमेंट जेंडर इक्वालिटी एजुकेशन और स्पिरिचुअलिटी पर आमंत्रित स्पीकर्स ने अपने विचार सबके सन्मुख प्रस्तुत किए We believe that faith is a vehicle of spiritual awakening, moral conscious, consciousness, and social cultural values to suit life in all forms in a well-lived society. At the present juncture, new faiths, as Sankarakari Mission, are here before this August audience to share with you the efforts being made at our level. The Sandhyaagari Mission has, um, you know, partnered with the United Nations for so many years. Talk to us about all the accomplishments that Sandhyaagari Mission has had up until now. Well, uh, it has been wonderful since 90, since the United Nations by attending at the CSW, which started with 60, 57, 58, 59, and this year is the 60th one. It has been an interesting journey for the Sandhyaagari Mission to understand. what are the millennium goals for the united nation as we all listen to it that they are looking for women empowerment 50 50 which is really the partnership we are looking at youth empowerment and social welfare to uplift the humanity and that's what we are trying to understand from the united nation how we are collaborating with them partnering with them so that we can support the united nation goals with our missions values with our missions basic tenets which is very helpful in terms of supporting that one of the theme which we came up this year is e5 which is enhancement engagement empowerment equality and empathy for all is avsar par sant nirankari mission ke toronto canada mein aayojit hone wale karyakram एन आई एस टू की सभी को जानकारी प्रदान की गई यूनाइटेड नेशन ने सब निरंकारी मिशन को कंसल्टेटिव स्टेटस इन दिमेन एम्पावरमेंट फॉरम का दर्जा दिया है सभी पैनलिस्ट ने सब निरंकारी मिशन के सिद्धांतों की सराहना की actually are celebrating the 60th session of the UN Commission on State of Women in 70 years history. Uh, the 60th uh, session has been extremely exciting. You've seen a lot of momentum, a lot of women's groups, a lot of women focused groups and for the first time a youth CSW which I think your mission has really been contributing and supporting to. UN Women is an entity that was uh, created 5 years ago with a very clear mission of forwarding gender equality, women's rights and women's empowerment. We work in over 90 countries across the world with a very clear mandate and a vision that executive director has created of achieving a planet 5050 by 2030 the four important points why the commission is so critical one is that for the first time the world leaders have adopted the sustainable development goals and especially the goal number 5 which you see right behind me which is clearly focusing on achieving gender equality for all women and girls at the same time we see that all 17 goals that apply to every single human being includes women and girls so we cannot achieve the goals if we keep a one eye close uh, so that's a very critical the second important element is a timeline that for the first time on september 27th you had 81 world leaders coming together and say that we must achieve gender equality because if you look at business as usual we'll achieve gender equality in 107 years that's insane so that's why un women along with many women's organization and many missions such as yours has been advocating for achieving gender equality richard the discussion that you did today um was mainly the interfaith and focusing on women share your thoughts on that how you know interfaith can really help bring about that awareness in women empowerment 
Well, I, I think I'll address women first because I've, I've, I've gone to many different spiritual groups and, and been doing this sort of spiritual work for 40 years. And the truth is, just as Hazrat Nai Khan, the, the person who was the founder of the order that I've studied with, said back in the 1920s, women are going to be our leads into the future spiritually. Uh, when you go to various spiritual groups, you'll find a lot more women than you do men. And you'll find uh, that the, the, the force behind even bringing some of those men there is the women. <laughs> So women seem to be able to be in touch with their hearts a little bit more and be able to realize that something else needs to be added.